video and today we're going to be going over a couple tips and tricks that can help you climb if you solo queue in ranked so I know that a lot of people um, do this and it's probably not by choice just it's can be a little bit difficult to find a squad I've run into this problem a lot um, you know you're not always gonna have the squad your ideal squad to play with they're not always going to be on the same time you're on or maybe you don't have a squad but either way some people are forced to solo queue more often than not and it can be a lot more difficult to get wins while you're solo queuing. I've played a lot of solo queue this season. Uh, I've obviously played a lot more with the squad, but I have solo queued a good amount and I have gained a lot of RP from solo queuing. I think I only lost like one minus 48 and I actually got a couple wins while solo queuing with complete randoms. So right now I'm just going to go over a couple tips that will help you guys climb if you ever happen to solo queue. So first tip is, and this is probably the most important tip, um, don't lose minus 48 or whatever rank you're in that's, that's for diamond. Don't die off spawn. It's the most important thing you need to avoid because it's going to make you never be able to climb. Minus 48s or uh, minus max points or dying off spawn is basically the worst thing that could ever happen to you in ranked. Um, you're never going to be able to climb if you are constantly losing uh, 48s or max points just because it can be incredibly difficult to make up those points back. Um, overall, I'd say the best ways of doing this would be landing in safe areas uh, that you know no one is going in. Don't 50-50 people, don't land places like Train or Capital City, uh, especially when you are on your own. Uh, sometimes your teammates just go wherever and uh, most of the time you're just going to have to follow them. But if you mark a place, they will usually be more inclined to follow it. So uh, that's one tip. Definitely mark the location you want to go and maybe your teammates will follow um, as well as play with a headset on. You'd be surprised if you're shot calling and making calls. You'd be surprised how much your teammates actually listen to you. Uh, I feel like a lot that goes into solo queuing, a lot of people think that uh, teammates don't listen, and a lot of them don't. I will, I will say that a lot of them do not listen. Um, but if you're not even trying to talk to them, then they're definitely not going to listen. So at least make the attempt to communicate. Communication is what separates a bad team from a good team especially when they're solo queuing there's like no communication so plug in your mic talk to your teammates and you'd be surprised how much better you guys perform overall so going back to landing um this is probably the most important part when solo queuing is the drop you don't want to drop anywhere too hot um if your team is dropping somewhere hot you might just have to uh you might just have to do it it's better i, I know that um I know it sucks, uh, you, you most likely would want to land somewhere else, but you can't, um, you have to land with your team, and if they get slaughtered, which is a probably pretty high chance, you're just going to need to just get out. Don't play for banner, uh, don't bother, unless you can get banner and it's easy, um, don't risk your own life, uh, that's probably the best tip I can give you guys for solo queuing, is play with play for your own life. Uh, don't worry about what your teammates are doing if they got themselves in a very terrible situation by dropping somewhere like Capital um, and they got killed. That's on them. Uh, I know it's really, really boring to uh, find a spot and sit in there all game and skeeve out, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. I've done it multiple times this season. It's much more beneficial than losing uh, 48 points or 60 points in Predator. It's absolutely ridiculous to lose that amount of points, so you don't want to do it. I mean, one win is like, like you can easily lose all the points, almost all the points from a win, if you lose two games right off the bat in Predator. That's basically an entire win gone, and you work very hard for wins. So the attitude you have to have for losing points should be, you're not losing 60, 48, or 36, you're gaining that amount. Because technically, instead of losing it, you are just breaking even. Therefore, you technically are gaining it because you'd be up 48, 36, or 60 from where you started. So you just have to look at it positively. Uh, I know it sucks. I know it's really boring, but sometimes you just have to do it. Uh, try to get a couple easy kills. Um, but that's probably the biggest tip I can give you guys is 
avoid at all costs losing the high RP points because it's going to drag you down and it's going to make you not be able to climb. So we talked a little bit about communication, but I just want to um, talk about how important it really is. I know it can be sometimes tough and sometimes your teammates don't have mics, but you just have to talk to them as if they are listening. Uh, you can shot call that way too. The next thing I want to say is try to team shot um, and try to just be aware of your teammates at all times. And what I mean by this is um, if they don't have mics, which most of the time they won't, they're not going to be able to tell you that one guy is low. They're not going to be able to tell you that they are low. So you're just going to have to be a little bit extra observant of these things because you don't want your teammate, you know, going down or, um, or getting a guy one shot and you don't realize that that guy's one shot. So you just kind of want to be, um, a little bit more aware than you normally would you want to pay a little bit more attention to what your teammates are doing since there's a lack of communication you almost have to take it into your own hands so another very important tip I can give you guys and this might be the most important one I know I said that about not losing RP and that is very important but this is the one that is actually going to help you win um, and place more consistently high um, the other one is just going to prevent you from losing points. This is the tip that is actually going to help you climb. And that is shot calling. Uh, this is probably the most important thing you can do while solo queuing. Uh, if you sound like you know what you're talking about and you're very experienced with shot calling, you're experienced with the way you should be rotating and good positioning, then you should almost always practice telling your teammates what to do. Um, I promise you this is going to take a bad team and turn it into an amazing one. I've been able to transform people with um, decent gun skill, just decent players overall. I've been able to transform them into very good players and have an, uh, a pretty solid team and win multiple times. Um, I've almost solo queued just as much as I've been in a party, so uh, I'm very experienced with having to shot call um, with people that I don't even know. I have the luxury of being in Diamond, or at least I was in Diamond when I was solo queuing, I'm now in Predator, but I had the luxury of having almost always teammates with mics or teammates that would communicate or listen. Um, this is just because everyone in ranked, especially at the higher level, they don't want to lose RP. Everyone's here for the same reason. Um, so if you sound like you know what you're doing, uh, if you sound like you're making good calls, people are going to be more inclined to follow you. And I promise you this is going to transform your team from, you know, being a, a decent team or even a bad team into a solid one. You'll be able to get wins more consistently if you call shots and take over. Um, I know for a fact that um, if you put your teammates in good positioning, they will be able to do the rest. They will be able to hold their own most of the time um, just by their gun skill usually. You want to put them in a position where they can help you out as much as they possibly can. Um, so conducting them in a good way will only be beneficial to you. So that's probably the biggest tip I can give you guys. Uh, it's the most important one for sure. Um, you just want to conduct your teammates and be a little bit more aware. Those are pretty much the most important tips is taking over the game, aka shot calling and conducting your team to good positioning and telling them when to rotate using the ping system to do it so if they can't hear you don't be afraid to use the ping system show them where you're going mark on the map uh, I always mark a location where I'm going to rotate to see if it's in zone set up for next zone practice good communication talk even if they don't have mics avoid losing the big losses the large RP and I guarantee you you will climb much more effectively so that's pretty much it for today's video so uh thank you guys for watching and i will see you next time